Alright, so I hope that you all can hear me and see me. We are headed to can't remember the name of the place, I'll put it up somewhere here. It's a girl's day out. We're going to make our own chocolates and we're also going to have a picnic. But it's raining, so let's see how it goes. Say hi to the vlog. I think what you are you afraid of shut up a boring yes, yes. Okay. Everything else could stay in the car. Thank you. 
you all today. What are you doing in Kingdom Have Fun, right? Yes. yes. Right. So this is the place to be. So, as you can see, we are not fabric, neither are we wood. Okay? <laughs> what we have are handcrafted chopping bells. Right? So throughout the process, you will see what we chopping bells do to, to produce a product for you all. So we're going to start the chocolate making process, but we're actually going to start with one of the second to last stage, which is tempering. Because this is where you want to see in here to see, right? The tempering, the mold, and the chocolate, uh, the chocolate making. Now, anybody knows anything about tempering chocolate? Okay, but heard the word tempering? Yes. We're going to put it in a particular temperature so that it is when, it a pour? when it's Another thing is that when it's finished point, it will be brittle and not shiny. It and will be shiny. Sorry, yes, it will be shiny. And then when you break it, it will have that nice come out. Excellent. Yes. Somebody did some homework here today. The objective of tempering chocolate is to be able to get dark chocolate, what you call a shine and a snap. So, you know, we're going to start with this. This is called a dried cocoa bean, right? You have not ever seen a dried cocoa bean? Right. Each of these has approximately 35% cocoa butter. So the dried bean, every chocolate in the world will start making chocolate with this. The advantage of coming to a small scale uh, operation like this is that I'm both a cocoa farmer and a chocolate. It's better. I'm going to taste it, man. Taste it. You think we'll kill you. That's recording. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the next reason why you roast the bean is you yeah. want to soften the bean. Now, throughout the chocolate making process, what you're trying to do is achieve what is called um, a smooth mouse feel. Have you got a big piece? Is that no Abigail? Yeah. Alright. I'll just meet that one. Different? <laughs> a long time. Long time. I wouldn't want to say we went. Good job. 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 So that's part of the flavor development. What do you think? Yeah. It tastes more like chocolate. It's called chocolate liquor, cocoa mask or cocoa paste. Come and see. 100% chocolate. Yes. It grinds it. So everybody saw it? No. I'm going to change and hold about 10 pounds of chocolate. So you grind it and you grind it and you grind it until it is smooth. Remember, we have to be clean and sanitized. All right? So we go ahead. Let me go here. One. Ah. Come on, let's go. Two.
mixiness and spreading it and so forth that it would have thickened up yeah. like how do you know that it's at the right consistency or when it because gets to that ideal you can actually take a thermometer mm -hmm. and it will give you a reading but we've been doing it a while so we know when it's done So we are at San Salvador. Um, Abby, you tell me the rest of Where we yeah, at here? Yeah, and here yeah, at San Salvador's estate. Um, we learned to make chocolate. We have our own chocolate. Uh, because we're bougie like that. Yeah. And we're having a picnic. Yeah. So we got the, we got the bubbly. We got the nice I mean, stuff. I think we should do over the video. No, you gotta hold it. No, go ahead, Abby. I'm gonna hold it. Come, Abby, Paul. Gaye, Gaye. What is that? Is that about to be too big? Hold that right now. Oh, yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Alright. Chinks. Goodbye. Alright. Yeah. Take a picture. 